station running like the pocket watch I stole from my dear old Patty. In other words, perfectly. I need that gold transport built, and I don't need no hitch in the plan. Then, after we stretch Kid Cooper's neck, we'll track down the rest of that, that, that flea bitten gang. Salutations, hello, greetings, okay. As you boys should know, tomorrow is my birthday. But, I do not care. I want the cake anyway. Yes, yeah, so I need you all to rustle me up a big old chocolate cake. Right, drive the containers into the bedroom. Thing, right? Then I'm going to blow out my candles and eat my cake. All of it, while you sing me a birthday song. Fun, right? Naturally. Thanks, Bentley. Son, who is it you keep talking to? Uh, I have a thing in my ear that lets me talk to my friend. And now he's telling me you need to carry some of that TNT so we can blow the gate. Sure. I got voices in my head telling me to blow things up, too. Eh, they've been right so far. Let's get to it. <laughs> wait by the door while you work this one out. Great! 
You gotta hop too, Sly! Keep moving, Sly! Uh, uh, uh. He ain't gonna blow itself up, you know? Let's get! the trick let's keep moving along try it appears that archway in front of the door is some kind of locking mechanism and that block is the key now you just need to figure out how to get it in there so tell me about sheriff toothpick toothpick that shady son of a gun is crookeder than a sack of corkscrews Plus, he framed me for that bank job and took the gold himself. I just know it.
one who's got to lug the dynamite. Huh. Well, let's get going. I ain't getting any younger. A Cooper the second I laid eyes on you. Thanks, but Tennessee, we need to go. You ready? Well, uh, not really. Somehow, we had managed to survive and make it back to the hideout. Once there, Tennessee gave us the lowdown, how he'd been planning the bank heist that should have gone down in Cooper Lore as his masterpiece, only to have a mysterious new sheriff arrest him before he even reached the bank. Curiously, the robbery still occurred and all the bank's gold was stolen. 
Tennessee was charged even though he was already in prison, and the gold was never recovered. Of course, he had a strong suspicion it was Sheriff Toothpick himself who had stolen the gold and framed him. And after a little research, there was no doubt he was right. Bentley was able to uncover plenty of information about the sheriff. Although he changed his appearance somewhat, Toothpick was a two-bit gangster from present-day Eastern Europe. According to his file, he'd grown up loving two things, gold and cowboy movies. He eventually specialized in gold robberies, and for a while had masterminded some of the largest scores around the world. Then he abruptly vanished. The word was he had always thought of himself as a gunslinger, and it looked like he had found a way to make that a reality. The guy was a real loose cannon. We'd have to watch our backs if we were going to steal back the missing gold and restore Tennessee Kid Cooper's reputation as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. Okay, the first order of business is getting Tennessee his guns back. Well, it's just the one gun now. I upgraded. But yeah, I need my shooting iron back. Agreed. Uh, according to my sources, Toothpick closed this old gold mine several months ago, declaring it unsafe. In fact, he's converted it to a storage facility for his stolen goods, including Tennessee's gun. We'll need to take measures with this job so as not to arouse suspicion. So, employing a masterful disguise, I'll tail Toothpick to the mine's entrance and mark it with a homing beacon. Murray, you'll then use the beacon to find your way there. Toothpick's sure to have secured the entrance, so we'll need your formidable skills to get it open. Then, once we have access, Tennessee can get in and get his gun back. Let's get to work! Okay, I